Hi, and welcome to Mokta Talk Series. We're in conversation with Arta Yolkin from Duo Via R, based between Istanbul and New York. At R, Arta and Hande Sekerschiller are pursuing new forms of expressions by blending classical artworks and new technology. Arda and Hande master a wide range of production methods, ranging from traditional sculptures and painting to digital video, animation, 3D modeling, together with current mainstream media aesthetics. Overall, their practice is informed by questions relating to the civilization we create, the technology we produce, and conflicts we generate with our way of being. Enjoy this talk. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm nice okay. You. Yourself? Yeah, um, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sort yeah, of. Well, <laughs> we're all in this together, I guess. <laughs> Yes, we uh, we had an, uh, we have an upcoming exhibition on twenty fourth of this month, and we had to postpone it. So we are uh -huh. a little upset about it. And, but other than it, it's okay. Yeah, we are living. Where would the exhibition meant to be? Uh, it was. Um, it should be in uh, a private building, but in one one thousand square meters in very prime location in Beşiktaş, in Istanbul, but. Uh, we cancelled it. It's going to be postponed, postponed. yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when it's going to be okay, but yeah, life is going. <laughs> cool. I see a beautiful work on your back. Oh, yeah. It's one <laughs> it's, of the ones we've been posted today. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, one of and the I can see myself work. reflecting on the work. That's super yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> So yes, I mean, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's um, such a pleasure to talk to you about the amazing work that you guys are creating. And um, I'm so interested to, to dive into what you're creating in terms of the 3D and the 4D experience, but also the, the sculpture. Um, so I know that you combine both elements, like the physical and the yeah. digital. So I was interested to know how how you guys got started uh, from your own practices and then how you moved to work together. Okay. Uh, me and Hande, are to, we were together like 11 years now. We were sharing the same studio for uh, nine years. We, had, we were running an animation studio, uh, like, like uh, half animation, half production studio. And uh, mm -hmm. we created commercials, uh, short movies, like uh, stage visuals for artists, that kind of stuff. Then uh, we had a um, motorcycle ex uh, crash. Then uh, decided to not to do, not to make commercial works. Uh, two years ago, uh, Hande is a very well-known uh, sculptor in Turkey. Uh, Two years ago, I've been accepted uh, to Residency Unlimited in New York. And then uh, I asked her, if, what if we can, what, what if we work together and create something together? And uh, we didn't know anything. We didn't know, we had no idea what to do. And we just uh, go to, we went to uh, New York, then started work together with, uh, I don't know, we had no idea what to do, but we put, Name Har, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and that, that three months or four months in New York, we uh, we tried to figure out what to do together. Then um, Hande, as I mentioned before, Hande is a uh, very talented sculptor, and uh, she started to work with the 3D like uh, three, four months, three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we decided to go on 3D sculptures, and then uh, we created a series of works that we can't create in real world and we named them uh, impossible sculptures. Mm -hmm. So it started like that. Then we realized that we can use our expertise to create animations like uh, character animations. We bought a uh, uh, motion capture system and then used uh, that motion capture system in our works like in videos, that kind of stuff. And uh, I know it's going up. Uh, so this is uh, how it started. Impossible wow. Scott so, is, is a pretty successful series, and it, it's in uh, it's in uh, major collections now in Turkey. Um, so we are working together. That's super good. So when you say that uh, you know she works in sculptures, and how did it? 
work when you had to sort of move towards the digital and how mm -hmm. you are still doing that? Do you start from a physical sculpture model and then you work that through a 3D um, virtual? Or yeah, it's, 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 or it's, how it's both ways. It? Right? We have a huge studio in Istanbul uh, and uh, Hande has everything to, to do, uh, everything uh, in the studio. We can make any uh, kind of sculpture. But uh, so you start from the physical uh, or? We can do it. We don't, Har doesn't make any physical sculptures, but we can. Uh, I will show you something. Like <laughs> okay, because I was browsing ah, on the website. Sure it's, and I... it's too heavy, like this one here. This, this, oh, this wow. guy is from... <laughs> This is on this sculpture. What uh, is it is made bronze. of? Bronze. Bronze, okay. Yeah. Wow, well, must be heavy. And, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> and. Uh, we be inspired from uh, like classical uh, paintings, classical sculptures, that kind of stuff. Mm. And then uh, when we have the idea, Hande draw them with iPad, and then uh, Hande model them uh, in 3D space, like ZBrush and that kind of software. Then I take take the job. I I, I create uh, textures. I create lights and uh, other stuff like volumetric stuff uh, and then it became a uh, painting digital painting like this one here like that one i see yeah, yeah. okay so you then come in and take on from the shapes mm -hmm. the sculptures yeah. and and bring them within a 2d painting digital painting yes yes digital we call them digital paintings it's they are digital paintings it's it's uh the the one thing about this these works are uh these are extremely uh large paintings these are uh, almost one gigapixel renders it's very hard to render this kind of stuff but we can here we have a, a small render farm here and mm -hmm. uh like uh we usually uh, uh we usually exhibit them as uh, light boxes uh this one is uh not this this is just a digital print but we exhibit them uh, as uh, li uh, light boxes usually mm -hmm. i see and do you normally uh, exhibit the works on any screen or would you rather then print them in a way these are these are paintings these are, yeah these are these are these are classical paintings but we create also videos uh we are working of we are working on series of series of videos of the, now uh, about this, like these this sculptures. But we also create music videos, uh, other video installations. But our works are not um, generative stuff. Like like we don't like to use computer aesthetics. Like we don't use computer mathematics and that kind of stuff. We like to create controlled image images, like in the uh, like like. Um, classical paintings, that kind of stuff. It, these are very hard to create images. Uh, mm -hmm. So our videos are also like that. We, we, we like to work with motion capture systems. We take uh, motion, motion data from dancers, from uh, performance, and use them to create uh, videos. So it takes too much time to produce this kind of videos. But we were planning to uh, uh, exhibit one of them in our uh, exhibition, but it's postponed. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Perhaps you can use this time to unleash your creativity and yeah. do some more <laughs> art and videos yeah. and animations. But, um... Yeah, for, it's, been, it's been four days since we locked up ourselves, but uh, mm -hmm. we haven't done anything for this, for this book because we were working together for uh, like almost three months to create this exhibition without uh, yeah. going out. Uh, now we are resting for... But yes. I think tomorrow we're going to It is start a good today. time as well to rest and to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I was going to ask you, you know, you got me quite intrigued about the narratives of the painting. Mm -hmm. So when you're having yeah. like, a, like a frame image, like the one at your back, um, mm -hmm. how do you see the narrative moving forward? Or what is the past of that frame picture that you have? So my question is... Um, when you're working on a on a on a film around your works, 
do you mm -hmm. have a narrative already in mind or do you get yeah, yourself inspired yeah, by sure. the works or how sure. does that work we don't we don't uh, like to create an artwork then write things about that artwork it's not our way Mm -hmm. uh, it's always a story. In, 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 in uh, for example, this particular one, this is uh, Impossible Sculptures number 10, I believe. Yeah, 10. Uh, this, imp this Impossible Sculptures is uh, very um, inspired from classical paintings from like uh, 15th, 16th century. And uh, uh, when you look closer, these this people are doing something like... Um, I don't know how to explain. I'm sorry for my English. Um, they look very, very familiar with this, with uh, with, with uh, classical paintings, but uh, they are they, their body movements are very, very um, uh, today. Like for example, Impossible Sculptures uh, one is uh, is uh, the Last Supper, and the and the Last Supper. People are doing something, and when you uh, look closer, you realize that they are taking selfies and pictures of the Jesus Christ. Well, we, we inspired from that that Hillary Clinton photo uh, we've seen in New York. Hillary Clinton explaining something or or uh, staying somewhere, and people taking photos, and nobody were looking at Hillary Clinton. Everywhere taking. Selfies with Selfie. Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that painting, that particular painting inspired, is inspired from that photograph. So these are uh, classical paintings with, I don't know, uh, modern gestures. Like today's people, explain today, today's people in classical way. I also saw on your website that you take on most of the you know, what's happening um, around the social economics and the environment and the conflicts. So mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, what does it inspire you to create? When you, when you start a, a new work, let's say, and you had a, um, you know, you, you start with an idea, you start from what inspires you, from society, from what is happening right now, or how does that start in your process? I don't know. For example, uh, is there something that you create together, or one yes, of you yes, comes it's up with an idea, idea and then you develop together, for, together? Yeah, we together for twenty four hour, twenty four hours a day for like ten wow. years. <laughs> it's been ten years, <laughs> years. <Yes. laughs> years. Yeah, so we talk too much. For example, today we talk about uh, how to create. Uh, uh, base um, base relief in 3D space. So uh, we are now trying to make a wristwatch together. <laughs> I don't know how to start, but we are making a wristwatch together. And uh, when we discuss about this, if uh, I asked her if we can create an, an, an large relief about uh, this corona stuff like because mm. yeah because it's very interesting in turkey like like there are uh, thousands of people believe that this this is a scam or that there oh yes you were saying about that <laughs> what do you yeah. mean <laughs> it's, it's very interesting if you go to yeah it's in our family also so if you go out and uh, ask people like like uh, i don't know even even the educated people they believe it's a scam it's some kind of there is a they believe that there is a, vac a vaccine or something and they are hiding it or or uh, millions of people believe that uh, it, it don't this this disease won't affect them because they are muslims and that kind of stuff so this uh, this is a story i mean this is uh, what what can i do what can i uh, make arts other than this, so it's mm -hmm. it's it's. And do you like think you would somehow embrace this within your art and use it as a way of communicating what you're thinking and influence people, perhaps? Uh, uh, can you uh, uh, ask? Again? I'm sorry. I was asking if your beliefs, you know, will be taken into your art, and mm -hmm. if your art will be in a way something that can communicate what you're thinking and what you would like to share with with the community around you yeah yeah uh, 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 i believe um 
I, 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 I can't think otherwise. I, I believe, I, I believe art, art is... Uh, it's, um, I don't know how to explain. I, I, um, people, are think, people, think, people think that art should be, uh, uh, especially today's our digital artists, people think that art should be good or art should be like, uh, like talk about, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is very, very, very important. Okay, I will start. Okay, this, this is my idea about... So yeah, what I wanted to know is if in your art, you know, you seek answers that you're probably, you know, you're looking at the outside world and people are questioning whether this virus is a scam or not. And would you mm -hmm. use your art to embrace this as a subject of discussion to then yeah, sure. reflect the answers within within the works you're creating to somehow support or inspire or influence people by looking at the art? No, no, it's not like that. I'm just making some kind of uh, like, uh, I, don't, I don't want to show people the way this is the way or this is not the way or this is mm -hmm. the truth or not. I, I don't care about it. I'm just painting the, 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 the environment around us. That's it. I don't want so I'm not an entire. Yeah, I don't know anything about this uh, this situation. I this, I also have my assumptions only. So uh, I just uh, I just taking pictures of what's happening around. That's all. So it's more like a documentary of, of yeah, the it's reality. something like that. Yes, yes, it's like like uh, like uh, K paintings or something like that. That's all. Mm -hmm. I don't want to show the way to other people because I don't know anything about this. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. I just also saw so many people joined us. So I just wanted to say if anyone has questions to ask, feel, please feel free to, to just comment down here. And so we can have a chat about questions that you may have. I was, yeah, um, and, and, and I'm sorry about my exam. I'm a bit excited. And uh, sometimes struggling to answer. Don't Please worry, it's, 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 <laughs> I've been understanding everything you're saying and I think everyone else has. <laughs> okay, so you. it's, it's so good to have you. And uh, I think most people that I've been in contact with today, that have been looking at the art that we posted, were so mm -hmm. impressed by the, um, the aesthetic of, of mm -hmm. the works and the message that the works convey. Because in a way, the struggle, but also there is beauty. So I okay. wanted to ask you, how do you balance these two elements? The beauty of the aesthetic and the cruelty of the scenes that somehow are described mm -hmm. uh, within the works. Thank you very much for saying this. Uh, can I ask you, can I tell, uh, first, can I tell something about like uh, the digital arts and uh, our thoughts about digital arts? This is very related to this uh, subject. Okay. Uh, today, digital arts is mostly like generative type mm -hmm. of art. And, uh, and uh, most digital artists are using the 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 uh, the aesthetics of the computers okay mm -hmm. so uh, if you go to a, a digital arts fair or digital uh, based exhibition probably you will see the same thing basically same thing the, the every artist is putting like million particles and drive them in in our in their waves and their colors and that's it so you you move on the other one and you will see the same thing so uh, Digital art is uh, extremely popular these days, and uh, brands like like uh, companies are uh, spending too much time on uh, spending too much money on digital artists like they are, uh, and uh, and uh, there are huge spaces like huge projectors and LED LED screen and that that kind of that kind of uh, equipments. Uh, so digital artists creating uh, something visual and mm -hmm. then write a text about that visual. And uh, pro uh, most of this texture text is about like abstract things like connecting people to the universe and that kind of abstract uh, ideas. And uh, it's not political because most of them are not political because uh, 
they are founding about companies and big places and they don't like this political stuff so when you say company do you mean yeah the companies people that, that no 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 the, or no 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 the companies like like in turkey uh, even in turkey like electric companies like selling companies uh, giving money to artists and uh, the 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 art artists create artworks for the companies and this like sponsors mm. so you mean like a uh, residencies or commissions yeah commissions mostly yeah they spend mm -hmm. a lot of money because people go to uh, like it's like big screens and big uh, big spaces like uh, infinite spaces that kind of spot, uh, like excites people and people go there and uh, and this it's not easy to buy this this infrastructure so companies mm -hmm. and sponsors pay this uh, infrastructure and 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 you create artwork for them and these companies and sponsors doesn't like political stuff so uh, digital art became becomes more like uh, only aesthetics not political message i see so this is the and, problem for digital arts uh, we want we, we we always want to keep uh, away from that stuff from that companies mm -hmm. and that uh, we don't do commission works most of the time sometimes uh, people asking us to do something but uh, we haven't accepted so far so this is a big problem uh, i think there are many talented people out there and that's why people don't create uh, some uh, artworks with uh, idea like mm -hmm. political or uh, that kind of narrative. That's a big problem. So, we don't want to do that. Do you think that the artist's creativity is then somehow compromised in a way or challenged by the, the fact that companies are putting a good amount of money on commissions yeah. and so the work is somehow, um, you know, influence to be in a certain way rather than giving artists the freedom to be creative yeah that's a big problem for especially for digital artists because it's uh, for example it's not a huge problem for a painter because why, you why create so? that it, because you create your painting at home but you by yourself or and uh, if you, um, somehow you can manage to show your artwork in a small gallery or like uh, in, uh, even in, a, in, a, in an uh, Instagram. But mm -hmm. it's not easy for digital arts because it requires a lot of equipments. We are lucky because we can fund ourselves by selling these paintings and uh, like other stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, not every digital art is lucky as us. So it's, it's a problem. So you uh, find they... that uh, a good percentage of artists out there uh, that are working within the digital realm mm -hmm. are influenced by the fact that being a digital artist means you will have to play by the role. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, this this situation creates its own uh, its own uh, plastic uh, like taste. For example, mm. uh, people think that like like if if you don't create that kind of like particles and that kind of flying points and mm -hmm. everything, uh, they think that it's not uh, it, this is the right way to do like creating digital arts. So, so they do don't you see this more as a... what? Sorry, say it again. Come again. So people think that for for example, new starting digital artists and uh, new groups thinks that. Uh, this is the right way because uh, the other people creating that stuff so i have to create that way this is the true way so it's not so uh, you just go to any any digital art you know better than me every every work is same like you see like millions of projectors and traveling mm -hmm. points and everything mm -hmm. we don't want to do that uh, the human human is the main object of our works human body human actions human uh, thoughts it's our main object so that's that's our way this is how we create our aesthetics i'll be curious to to hear what the what the people that are watching think about this because it's such a crucial topic to discuss um have you discussed this with any fellow artists that creates, you know, art that somehow is influenced by 
um, you know, these rules that you were just describing? Time to time, yeah, yeah. People, uh, they say that. And what's that... the feeling of people? And what do you think also <laughs> of the of the trend? They said, no? they they said, said that the, the, the most the, they said uh, people say that uh, um, the the uh, I uh, you can't classify people like this people tell me that like uh i don't i want i just want to create this way okay you cannot uh you can't um uh, tell me how to you can't you can't tell me how to do it but it's my idea so uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's uh, i believe it's the easiest way to create this way because time to uh, we we time to time people call us and uh, for ex especially um uh, architectures calls mm -hmm. us and ask uh, for commission works. And every single of them is asked us to create something like, uh, for example, Refik Anadol. He's a very famous mm -hmm. Turkish. Yeah, 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 uh, I know. Works. Yeah, like uh, nine, of the, nine, of ten, nine of ten is asked us to create something like Refik Anadol. Why? Why should I create like Refik Anadol? Oh, Some you kind made other pressure. artists. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. The same. architecture schools. Are, I need something for my building. Yeah, okay, great. And can you make something like him? Like this is so, kind. Of, this is the create. This is the pressure I'm talking about. So do you for think example, that art becomes like fashion? That everything yeah, yeah. Is and ask us, ask us many times. Like ex ask us to create uh, people not naked, not that much naked. <laughs> you want to buy, but this is too naked. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, to me, so that looks like beautiful marble statues. So. Yeah, it's 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 not easy to <laughs> sell them in Turkey, actually. Really? It's too, uh, yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Can it's imagine. Yeah, uh, people are t saying that people, are, especially for example, did you see Hande's sculptures? Say it again. The? Did you see Hande's sculptures, like naked? I sculptures? saw some of them. Yes, on a, yeah, it's on a, big a Instagram. Here. Yeah. Big problem here. We, really? uh, uh, yeah, uh, authorities. I don't. I don't. I want. I don't want to tell who, but authorities told us that uh, remove the uh, painting from our exhibition uh, posters, like this two two weeks ago. I see. So it's. And how do you feel about that? I mean, angry. that is your art, you know. That is your angry. right to express yourself. Mm. So angry. So uh, it is very uh, related to what I told you before. So it's mm -hmm. the a hardest way to create art in Turkey. You can. You, you should always be pushed into abstract way, creating abstract uh, art pieces, creating abstract paintings. Uh, and if so you, you think use, that is the safest option for an artist? Yeah, safest to... option. And if you use human body or human related things, you should uh, not use naked. Mm -hmm. Bodies. It's a big problem in Turkey. Wow! And <laughs> you see the result here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found so, it beautiful. So thank you very much. You found yeah, it. we had a couple of questions from Domenico and uh, a few comments that I just wanted okay. to share um, with everybody. So one is um, he was asking, what softwares um, do you use? to make okay. such beautiful works. <laughs> okay. And then he also has a comment saying that there may be a balance between sponsored works and um, so commissions, commissions and your yeah, own sure. works. And how do you be, yeah. perhaps yeah, balance be. that? Yeah. Perhaps Can you could also, you know, I know it may be difficult because there might be restrictions by the government or by the, the mm -hmm you know, local cultures, that how would you then exhibit your works, for example, online? And how do you see, for example, um, online galleries or online museums like Mokda uh, working mm -hmm. towards exhibiting in a more free space where people can access art, um, you know, um, in anywhere in the world without mm -hmm. boundaries? But yes, software and um, online exhibition. Balance between, uh, and balance and balance okay. the, the okay. commission work okay. Okay. versus First. your own work. <laughs> Three okay. questions I... in one. <laughs>
Okay, I will. Uh, the the software question is complicated. I will start from uh, the scratch. We uh, literally scratch. We start with um, Procreator on iPad. To, uh, we we Hande start with sketches, mm -hmm. and then um, we uh, create these characters on ZBrush and model them in ZBrush from uh, like preposed characters. And then uh, I collect them into Cinema 4D. Uh, these, uh, these volumetric uh, effects are made in uh, Cinema 4D. I made uh, textures in Substance Painter and uh, Arnold, Arnold Blender's native uh, textures. And then render it in Arnold. These are our painting uh, setup. On when we do animations, we use uh, iClone for character animations, and um, and uh, we have our uh, motion capture system. It's it's I believe it's Noiton. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we do animation, we we add uh, iClone uh, to this setup in Cinema 4D. And uh, second. I believe there, there, there is a balance between uh, there, there. We can make some kind of balance between like commission works and and um, self, uh, self. Your own work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, but it's. Um, but maybe your you, own work. When you, you, when you pay it, when you pay it, it's 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 a magical thing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. When you pay it, like for example. Uh, fifty thousand dollar for an artwork, and uh, people ask you like, "I give you fifty thousand dollar and do this for me," and uh, you don't work harder, like you work as always, but you mm -hmm. pay fifty thousand dollars in like <laughs> in two weeks. It's 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 a magic. Mm -hmm. Then you try to then then you start to change your behavior to your artwork because now it's uh, it's not an artwork; it's now uh, some kind of currency. Uh, then you learn that uh, if I made this, they pay me. If I made this, they pay me. And then the money comes with respect and this kind of stuff. So it's very hard to balance that kind of stuff. Uh, but there is a balance. And um, I know some people uh, can manage this, uh, this balance. But in Turkey, especially in Turkey, it's very harsh. This, this environment is very harsh. Mm -hmm. So... Um, when they pay you, they ask for everything. Like the, you cannot tell them that that you pay me, but I will do this by myself. It's it's very hard to find this kind of information uh, environment in Turkey. And third, yes, I believe uh, there should be another way when you to exhibit your stuff. It's it's uh, the, we we should think about. Uh, the other possibilities to show our our, our artworks, and uh, I don't know what to have to do. We, the, uh, our, our luck is, uh, I'm telling you, our, our luck is, we are creating these paintings, and mm -hmm. Hande is creating like physical sculptures. So we have plenty of collectors here uh, to, uh, and buy them, so we mm -hmm. can think about our uh, upcoming. Uh, exhibitions. We have a lot of supporters in Turkey. We are lucky. I don't know how we manage it, but we are lucky. Uh, because you're both very talented and your work is astonishing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But there are lots of talented people out there and they don't have any support. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I cannot explain that easily. I don't and know what's how. the message but, you'd like to send out, for example, to those people that are trying to make a living uh, creating art, but in a way they find the the institutions and commissions to be so restrictive oh, what would you like to suggest to those people i spent like uh, i'm not uh, uh, i'm not going to say it's it's easy it's very hard we spent uh, very uh, plenty uh, a very hard time in turkey like uh, we lost our house uh, we didn't have much money for like months i mean for years we didn't have much money. We spent too much uh, hard time in Turkey, but we never worked. We never stopped working and thinking. We still uh, work like uh, at least ten hours every day. We wake up at seven. We go to. Uh, we start working at eight. Uh, we don't do too much. 
things other than go to gym. That's all. That's our life. Mm -hmm. So the working is very, very, very important. It's labor. Art is labor. It's very important. Uh, many of our friends uh, like to uh, things that that making networking on uh, knowing, uh, to meet people it's the, the the most important part of the art for some people yes i believe that but it's not mm -hmm. our way we always work and uh, create then put it uh, and send it to people like uh, showing the people and uh, i think it's it's our way like to work and share it that's it also uh, another thing is uh, it is very important for us to share knowledge about our uh, works. Mm -hmm. like, uh, we, we, yeah, we I think that's very work. important. Yeah, we create workshops for free. And uh, we always answer people's questions online. And um, in, uh, the, the, we always put an, a workshop or, or some kind of... Uh, like um, uh, a working day or something like that when we ex uh, join an exhibition is very important for us and mm -hmm. uh, share the hardware with people and meet with uh, young people and uh, tell them and share our hardware and software with them it's very important for us mm -hmm. yeah now that you said about sharing um the softwares I think if you don't mind to then type up the softwares you use because I think some people would like to I take think... notes okay I will type <laughs> <laughs> yeah somebody's asking if you yeah they might have missed a couple when you were describing the the softwares you guys use but you can do so after as well that will be available on the chat okay Mm -hmm. I will do it later then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do it later. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but yes, I mean, the, the, you know, before we were talking about the, the aesthetic of the work and then you were referring about most digital artists, you find them to be mm -hmm. influenced by the fashion of art, let's call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the yeah, seasonal fashion. <laughs> fashion. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, in the narratives, in the stories that you are envisioning in your works, what are the outcomes? What do you see coming up next in terms of the dramaturgy? If you were going to, to take your work and put it mm -hmm. within a TV drama, let's say, mm -hmm. what would the, the dramaturgy would be in terms okay. of how do, you do, how do you see the development of the story and what would be the outcome? You know, when you're watching a TV drama, then you've got the end in mind. Mm -hmm. Or how would you challenge people looking at your paintings, at your digital sculptures, um, mm -hmm. and envision that ending? Or is there an ending? You know, what's the story and how does it flow? Um... There is no ending, actually. As I as I mentioned before, I I don't. Uh, we both don't uh, tell people what is wrong, what is right, or or or, mm -hmm. or any 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 uh, anything like. Uh, at the end, it's gonna be like this. Or if you don't do this, it's gonna be end like this. We don't like that stories. We don't like that kind of narrative. But uh, okay. it's it's kind some kind. It's totally uh, uh, some kind of documentary, but in our aesthetic way. Uh, let me. Yeah, let me explain you the, the, the project we are working on now. It's, mm -hmm. it's very important for us, and we were working on that project for almost a year. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a video art project for us, but it's a music video for uh, Gaia Suakyol. She's a very uh, talented Turkish singer, and also she's very famous in uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a kind of psychedelic rock singer. And um, she asked for us some kind of yeah. She asked for us a music video. It was started as a as a as a commercial project, but we told her that we don't do commercial anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's some kind of it. It became an exhibition project. This is the this is the project we uh, postponed. And uh, in that music video, uh, we have created a a, a a city, a part of a city. And this still just look like, looks like uh, Istanbul, part of Istanbul. 
or part of like Sao Paulo or, or uh, I don't know, like Athens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a ghetto place, ghetto, like narrow uh, roads, big buildings and dirty streets and that kind of place. And uh, in whole video, she's uh, seeing the, the things happened in Turkey in the in, in past 15 years, like uh, you, don't, you don't know any of them, but when uh, Turkish people see, it reminds them, it will remind something to uh, mm -hmm. Turkish people. And uh, we created whole city. <laughs> you, won't believe your, you won't believe when you see it, but uh, slowly, slowly, and we work with a talented uh, architecture friend. And uh, mm -hmm. we created that city, it just looks like a Turkish city, Turkish uh, neighboring. And uh, at the end of the music video, and, and we, we, we transfer uh, guys' body movements to the, to the guy's character. You can see that character on our uh, Instagram page. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the, the 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 story, you will see something. I don't know, like surprise. I won't. I don't want to say that because it's a big surprise. <laughs> no spoiler. But, yeah, no spoiler. Uh, 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 we want to like when you see our works, you will. If you don't, even if you don't know anything about digital art or or art. You will see. You you will you will you feel something uh, like like oh my god they should they should have worked a lot on this to create like you you understand that that requires that requires a lot of uh, uh, labor. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing. This is very important for us. And uh, the second thing is we don't ask for help. We don't work with people, other people. Like uh, it's very common in Turkey. You. Uh, you have an idea and you tell that idea to to producer or or, or i don't know animator or or like a sculptor studio and that kind of uh, or that kind of a place and they create that artwork for you we don't believe that i i understand uh, when people do it but we don't believe that mm -hmm. we don't do that so, so do what, what everything you see, like in yeah, yeah what you see in our works all by all made by two people Mm -hmm. This is this is very important for us. It's uh, it's not easy to do animation, sculpting, like uh, rigging, weight mapping, uh, texturing. Uh, it's all in, in house. And third, we have we have story. We we, we we should tell people something that this thing happens in in the world and right now. That this is this is the this is this is the uh, main thing. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we don't want to uh, people. What is good? What is bad? What is uh, like like the right thing to do or wrong thing to do? We don't care. We just create. We just uh, we just taking picture of what you see. That's it. That's yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I totally get it. That is, um, you know, it's like a picture on the world in your own vision. You know. Mm -hmm. And do you have any any uh, modern or more classical artists that you use as a point of reference? Is there any artists that you look at? You know, you were saying about the labor and you were thinking yeah. perhaps that artists <laughs> in the Renaissance or in the classical era probably have spent hours and hours yeah. and days and months and years working at a single place. Handi, Handi is very good uh, at that. He, she knows uh, everything, almost everything about classical art, like Renaissance and uh, the, the, this era. I am very, very, very big fan of uh, AES plus F. Do you know them? It's a Russian group, AES plus F. Yeah, the, the, these these people are amazing. You should see them. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you uh, mind probably... writing it as well so that people can yeah. have a look? <laughs> I am writing right now. Okay. Uh, Great. The, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, like uh, in 2017, I, I, part I participated in uh, Moving Image New York and uh, one of the, the, the group is, uh, was in the uh, opening and uh, I, have a chance, I have a chance to chat with him. And uh, 
he told me that the production of the videos they made, uh, made by, I, I don't know, like 90 people worked in the productions. And these are very, very, uh, like, amazing videos. They made amazing videos. And uh, I told him that my video uh, was, uh, the, ex the video I have exhibited in uh, contemporary, uh, uh, moving in New York, made by, only by me. And he was like, oh my God, I this <laughs> by, by yourself. It was the proudest moment of my life, I believe. <laughs> so so uh, AES plus F is my, like, uh, the, 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 the most the advanced artist that you're looking at. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, um, ma, ma, do you know Marco Bram Brambilia? Brambilia oh yes, Brambilia. yeah, yeah. I do. I love him. Like, like I when I uh, uh, discovered Civilization video, like I don't know, uh, it's been ten years. Uh, it was shock for me. <laughs> like, mm. It was amazing. I, I think the, I, I like this kind of stuff, like like mm -hmm. uh, the the idea and uh, labor together it's it's very important for me so you're saying that art is not easy art takes a lot of reflection and a lot of labor which i yeah, totally I agree, agree with <laughs> the, 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 the uh, i'm not saying that uh, for example conceptual art is trash or that kind of i'm not saying that uh, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my in my opinion uh, the the, mm -hmm. the the art i like is the joint of like like a combination of uh, idea and labor i don't like the art uh, sometimes i like but most of the works i like is combination of uh, idea especially political idea and uh, labor it's very important mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. i see okay well, it's been such a great journey talking to you through your arts. If there's anything that you, you want to share with the people that are watching, um, we yeah. have a few more minutes, if you like. And if anyone that is uh, wanting to ask questions, please send them through. <laughs> we'll be happy to discuss. Yeah, I just want to, I just want to tell people uh, our... Uh social media is always open and we always answer questions especially the people who are looking for like technical answers or, or, or mm -hmm. some kind of mentorship or uh, they can always uh, reach us and ask their questions we are happy to uh, answer that do you as, do as any any online uh, webinar for example have you thought about doing that no no not yet but uh for turkish for turkish audience uh, we will uh, make some uh, like online webinars soon with Cinema 4D Turkey. Also, we will uh, make some workshop uh, during our uh, upcoming exhibition. We always do that, but this time we will uh, spend like uh, we will do we will make eight uh, or six hour uh, uh, workshop, and uh, we will bring our. Uh, Every, everything there and talk about how we do every, every single piece in the exhibition and explain them how to uh, recreate them. Mm -hmm. I have actually two more questions that just came from okay. my head and I was thinking, have you ever, you know, brought your, your works or your, or your workshops um, into schools? Uh, no, no. But uh, especially, it, it's, it's interesting. We created a workshop. Uh, uh, I'm sure you don't know that, but there is an there is a there is a uh, some kind of uh, exhibition. Uh, it's it's very interesting, actually. You should uh, look for them. There is an organization here called Base. Base mm -hmm. is a is a joint exhibition of uh, I don't know how to explain. It's very interesting. It's all open. It's open for uh, newly graduated uh, art school students. All okay. Over and uh, hundreds of them uh, getting together and making an exhibition bases that I have created a workshop for base uh, la last year and uh, last year again we have created a workshop like uh, for UNHCR in Turkey it's, it was like um, five immigrant artists with five Turkish artists we put them together in a studio for 15 days and we gave them a motion capture system and uh, uh, free software, free hardware, laptops and everything. We gave them for free. 
And uh, after 15 days, they made an exhibition called DigiGather. And it was, it was like, <laughs> like team. it was amazing. You should have seen that. Wow. And uh, some of them are, uh, became uh, digital artists now. They had opened an exhibition. It was quite an honor for us to see them like this. Uh, yeah, that's it. We are we always open for this kind of um, collaborations, like mm -hmm. workshops and that kind of stuff. I think it's fantastic that you are, you. you know, as artists also sharing uh, the way you're creating and teaching people and educating people around new technologies. Um, yeah. The thing is... <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure, uh, I don't know much about England or Amer uh, United States, but uh, in Turkey, uh, there are, in, 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 in art schools, like in traditional art schools, like, like painting schools, like uh, sculpture schools, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's not allowed to use digital technology. So they don't know anything. So, so, so artists, like painters and digital artists, uh, sculptures, sculptors uh, don't know anything about digital technology on the other hand uh, there are many people interesting with digital technology and learning mm -hmm. the, 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 they're learning new things to, to improve their skills and everything but and uh, there are many famous digital artists in Turkey but classical artists um, they should learn digital technology because time is changing and time is changing very fast. And uh, our mission as HAR, me and Hande, uh, want to learn this technology, especially these artists, because they have extended knowledge about art, how to make art, how to create an idea, how to create paintings, how to create sculptures, but they don't know anything about new ways, new technology, new language. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge problem in Turkey, very, very big problem in Turkey. And at the end of the school, if they, they don't know anything about digital technology, and if they can't survive in the arts world, and uh, many of them can't, so they can survive if they learn digital technology. So we, 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 we think that uh, they, should, they can learn and we are... Uh, trying to teach them this technology. This mm -hmm. is our some kind of mission. <laughs> well, it's such an honorable, honorable mission because you know <laughs> you're not just only sharing your art and your practice, but you're also teaching um, young, talented artists how to get a living and how to apply technologies not just in art but in life in general. So, well, thank you so much for. Thank doing you so that. much. It was a pleasure yeah. for me. Thank you. Yeah. Very but yeah, night. thanks. It's been yeah. really great talking to you. Um, do you do you do you think you're gonna be three um, D printing any of your work? That's a question I had for the sculptors. Uh, you know, artwork. Of course, of course. We have a three D printer here in our studio. Mm -hmm. uh, Is that part and, of uh, your creative? Uh, process in terms of it's not no we don't use uh, sometimes sometimes Hande creates his uh, sketches on 3D and mm -hmm. uh, print them and look them uh, and uh, paint uh, create sculptures like his his uh, her bronze sculptures looking them that's all mm -hmm. that's that's the uh, that's the meaning of that 3D printer but uh, it's uh, VR Har is a digital uh, duo. And uh, we are planning to create some 3D printed sculptures soon. And uh, in fact, we were, uh, we will be exhibited. We will be exhibiting uh, the two bronze sculptures in 3D print printed sculptures, but the exhibition canceled <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we well, have 3D hopefully... printer and we have that technology. We want to use it. I see. That's good. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if you were doing that. That's yeah, so yeah. great. But yeah, I hope the exhibition gets rescheduled really soon. And I hope you guys I keep safe. So. And thank you so much for sharing this wonderful thank you for art. Thank you. Thank you um, very much. It's been amazing. Thank you. And uh, stay again, safe. Again, I'm sorry for my uh, English. I'm, some, like, I'm a little excited here and uh, can't explain myself uh, quite uh, well.
again, sorry. And I think, think everyone you. understood pretty well. And okay. thank you. You've, you've been fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. Honestly. Okay. Thank you so much for okay. sharing. Okay. okay. Bye. We'll keep in touch. Stay safe. And okay. thank you. <laughs> Take bye -bye. care. Bye.